Thank you. Um, first, I would like to thank all the colleagues and especially the um, shadow rapporteurs who have worked on this file uh, for a very constructive manner we have dealt with it. Uh, the customs union is not enough talked about but remains one of the successes of the European Union. Uh, we should not take it for granted and we should not think there is not room for improvement. An important piece of the customs union is for instance missing. We have the same rules but we handle it uh, in a completely different way. Uh, where companies or individuals break these common rules. It might not have been such a big problem before because so some member states have big ports and while some other countries have less trade flows and less resources to control. Um, but in the modernized customs code brought about a trade facilitation measure with the authorized economic operator status that can be lost if a company commits a serious repeated infringement. A company might lose its status in a country A while still working in country B. This will create the distortion of the market and unfair competition. In addition, uh, in the digital age, we have to have the objective of creating new opportunities for the small and medium-sized enterprises. My goal in this report was quite different from the approach taken by the Commission, as my focus was on improving compliance businesses with sometimes very complex rules, so that the system leads to fewer infringements and not more. Sanctions are the last resort when there is a lack of compliance, but the starting point cannot be that all companies are intending to break the rules. We need to treat the companies as partners. Circumstances matter and need to be acknowledged, so, so this has to be taken into account while, while determining the sanction. Uh, I'm really against the strict liability, uh, that, uh, strict liability uh, regime that is in place in, in several countries. It simply deters compliance. A strict liability regime also means that no degree of guilt needs to be determined, which raises serious question uh, on whether it respects the presumption of innocence. There should be a mix of non-criminal and criminal sanctions when it comes to the infringements uh, of the customs law. And there should be a greater effort of the Member States and the Commission on improving compliance, improving knowledge of the businesses of customs legislation. Last but not least, it is very important to make sure that the system is fair and uh, proportionate. It's not the fair system if you are a small co company trading high value goods and the sanction kills your business because of your type of trade. The sanction needs to be about the consequences of the infringement and not strictly about the value of the goods. I'm very happy that uh, the European Parliament has decided to take this file seriously. It is a very different matter in the Council where they refuse convergence of sanction system as principle. And therefore, I hope that the Council will be a bit more constructive and will decide to work on this important pillar of the customs union that is in compliance with the union law. Thank you very much.